Battlefield Bad Company. I got this uh, yesterday. I mean, I haven't played it yet, obviously, because I'm still in the middle of Devil May Cry and uh, Just Cause 4, which I bought at a GameStop with Devil May Cry HD Collection. I mean, from what I've heard, it's a good game and all, and the only reason I got it, though, was because it was rated T, and my sister wasn't with me at the time, and I wanted to buy Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, but, like I said, sister wasn't with me, I asked the guy at the counter if, like, a student driver permit would do, but because it doesn't have a legal picture on it, I couldn't do it with my other sister, I just had to make do with getting this, which... Not a bad decision, I wouldn't say. I mean, it's good to have T-rated first-person shooters. It's just kind of, you know, not fun when you can't go into a store and buy a first-person shooter. Teenagers need first-person shooters that they can get on their own. Especially ones that don't treat them like five-year-olds. I mean, from what I've heard, Metroid Prime is fine, but, uh... It's not gritty, it's not realistic in any way, but just look at this, apparently it's next gen in 2008. Alright pal, keep telling yourself that. This is Assassin's Creed Revelations. I only bought this because I wanted a physical version of uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. I already had the digital version, and for some reason I keep finding this at GameStop. I keep finding Assassin's Creed Revelations, but I can never find Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It's just not fair. I was really hoping I'd find it too, because I can't find it online either. I mean, I can find it online if I go to eBay or something, sure. But GameStop just never has it. Like I said, I already beat it, and uh, this is just a physical version for my collection. That's the manual and junk. Every Assassin's Creed game I have has the original manual and junk. The original manuals for Assassin's Creed games are actually pretty cool. They're going to a lot of detail. Don't know about this one, though. I didn't check it out. Only really read the Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed 2 manuals. Anyways, on to the next game. Assassin's Creed 2. I was, uh, I was at a GameStop one day. Like, the day before I got Assassin's Creed. I won't go into how I got that earlier. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, it. I'll get into it earlier. I mean, I'll get into it later. No, that happened to it. But I was at a GameStop, and uh, whenever I go to GameStop, I usually get games in threes, because, I don't know, just a nice balanced number. It's a nice number, it's not, it's not like even or anything, but it's, it's a beautiful number. And because one time I went there, they were having a deal on stuff, I bought this with, um, I think one more Xbox 360 game, and another Xbox One game more. No, I, I, the other way around, I got it with two Xbox One games, and this was the one Xbox 360 game. Eh, you know, good game. I beat it in just a couple of days, though. Fun, the early Assassin's Creed games were pretty short, but now they just feel artificially lengthened. Like in Assassin's Creed 4, when I made it to the climax, it didn't feel like the climax anymore because I thought the climax had already happened. When I made it to the end, it didn't feel right because I thought the ending would be coming sooner. A lot of more intense stuff happened before the ending, so I just... It didn't sit right with me, you know? Assassin's Creed. Like I said, I'll go into how I got this and... Uh, how this happened. So, I bought this on uh, GameStop.com for same-day delivery in December. Because, uh... My sister got me a GameStop gift card for Christmas because there were no eBay gift cards left. And uh, it arrived, and I saw a sticker on the spine. So I tried to remove it, and everything was going good for a little while. I made it very clear to say Assassin's Creed. And then I pulled a little bit too hard. It broke the game case, kind of. Not the game case, the game box art. But I played through it, and, and, you know, it's a good game, but my controller started freaking out halfway through, or, well, just before the final boss fight, it started freaking out, so I... I... Well... Have you ever seen a person drop... You know, those, like, videos where they drop iPhones off of buildings? 
It was like that, except the iPhone was my hand, and the ground was the joystick. And I smashed it over and over and over again because my horse would always start drifting. And that fixed the problem, kind of. It fixed that problem and started another problem. That joystick can now never, ever, ever get pressed down. No matter how many times you try, it'll go down, but it won't register. I had to open it up to see what was wrong. There's just a mechanism inside there that's broken, it's busted. Multiple pieces, smash and rooney. Now, whenever I jiggle it around, it sounds like, uh, you know, those things full of rice or whatever. I don't know. Um, like a bean bag. It sounds like a bean bag a little bit when you shake it around, or like a baby rattle. Good game. But that final boss, if I can go suck a chill. Alien vs. Predator. I already told a stupid story behind this. I bought it for like 40 bucks, and then when I was going to that game stop and I bought Assassin's Creed 2, I saw that it was like $10, or was it 5 maybe? I don't even remember. I was just like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. $40 for this thing. It comes with the case and the manual and everything, and I like the game, but that was hard to bite, man. I tried to bite the bull with that one. But I, I'd say it was worth it. Kind of. Not really, no, not at all. Not really worth that. I don't know why I paid $40 for the game. That was stupid. Two three. games left. Aliens Colonial Marines and Aliens Colonial Marines. This one is my copy. We all know the story behind that one. Anyways, like I said, we're doing this separately, so... I don't want to drop you off. I love you, Aliens Colonial Marines. Now, Aliens Colonial Marines. Got it. When my brother left, he left that behind in a drawer. So I took it. Mine now. Let's go to North.